Yo, what they do, man? We live from the site, HVAC Mechanical Department, and it's me, your homeboy Hollywood. And today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing a little install, and you know we had to make offsets. So today we're gonna cover offsets and when the new, you need an offset and when to use an offset. I'm not gonna give you the game on how to lay it out. I I'll show you how to lay it out, but I can't really explain to you on how to make an offset without really, you know, showing you how to make an offset, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all sit back, y'all enjoy the content, man, and uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, you got any questions, man, don't hesitate to hit that comment box, man. Yo, so today, we had to uh, make two sets, we had to kick one over 30 inches to get to the center of our new drop, and we had to go up two feet 24 inches to be able to hit the top where we got it put at on the new duct so pretty much we pulled off the wall found our center to the duct and then pulled off the other wall found our center to the other duct so once we did that you know it gave us a measurement of 30 inches so we went back down off the mezzanine out of the ceiling went down and uh, laid the duck out. Now how I do my sets, I do my sets in three pieces. So I got piece one, piece two, and piece three. So, and I use my uh, speed square to find my um, degrees. I cut 22 fives, you can cut 45s, you can cut 15s, you can cut 30 degrees, you can cut 60 degrees. But I cut 22 fives and give me a three piece. All you do is lay it out, you, uh, you need to get over 30 you go you need a uh, throat so I make my throats usually four to six inches so from there I pull my throat four to six inches and then from that same line I go down if it's 30 inches I go down 34 inches because it's an inch all the way around on my notch then I gotta notch out the duck I go four inches to add that and then you know cut it out notch it and put it together simply like that but if you don't pull your measurements right or if it's off a little bit your set is not going to be clean you know you want your set to be nice and sharp look like it came out the factory mind you we're doing these on the job site in the field so you know you're gonna have a little problems you want them as closely from, you know, like it came out the shop as possible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, once we made the sets, we went back up in the ceiling. We connected it with two drives. Uh, the drives had to be an inch long on each side, so if it was 20, which is 20 wide by 14 tall, the drives were 16 inches, the S-locks were 19 and a half, and then you put your S-locks on, and then you connect. Well, how I connect, I connect one side at a time, it's faster, it's smoother, you know, you really have to use your duct pullers using that way. If you try to slide the connecting piece into the S's, at the same time, it's gonna give you kind of a struggle and you will need your third hand. So I just connect one side at a time, put my drive on, work it up with the hammer. Once I'm past my S lock, an inch, I fold it over. You fold both of them nice, you don't want you don't want your drives to be way long. That's why you only give it an inch, inch and a half if need be. And um, cut the access if you use a longer drive. And that's how you make your connection. Once we got the first set connected and see how it looked, we knew we had to go up. So what we did, we made a set down. We went back down, made a set to kick us up. I think it went up like two feet, 24 inches. And once we went up with that, we, we put a brace under the first set so it could hold it as, a, you know, we needed a hanger. We didn't have no hangers up there. So we put the brace on there. Then we built the second set. We connected the second set, and it got us up. So now that we're up and we're level with the top, we just need a scrape piece. And with the scrape piece, it'll tie us into the top, and we have to put a 10-inch tap in there, a return tap to feed the bathroom so we can get the return there out of the bathroom, out of the uh, walk area. So... It was, uh, I think it was like a 50, 60 inch piece that we needed to tie the tap in to the line that was feeding the other side of the building. So once we did that, it was all tied in. Both sets were made. Everything was pooky. 
Then after it was pooky and dry, we went out for lunch. After we came back from lunch, that's when we had to do the insulation. Now with the insulation, what we did was we added the top and bottom plus the left and right side. So say it gave us 74. So we went 70, I think we went 76 to give us some inches to overlap it. And then once we cut them out, we cut about four or five, you know, nice sheets out. Once we cut them out, we uh, brought them up top. So we put tape on one side and just taped it to the top of the duct. And then my coworker was on the other side and he pulled it around. We pulled it tight, real tight until it's over the top and it's overlapping back on, back on the side I'm on. So it was overlapping. And then once we got that, put tape on it to hold it, put staples, and uh, put tape just to over overlap the staples. But that's how we did the insulation. And that was just on the square part. When it came to the top, we just cut in splits. I cut in splits to make it fold back and then taped it around onto the actual top and just pulled it and tightened it like before. And we carried that same method all the way out, all the way till we got back to the to the beginning of the line. So it was connected, it was spooky, and it was insulated. We didn't have to go back up there.